when I hear the name Mike O'Shea, I hear, uh, I think about integrity, I think about uh, professionalism, I think about somebody with, that just had uh, an extreme passion for the game. Michael O'Shea loves football. Mike was very intense. He was very businesslike. He loved the work. He was a professional. He took his job seriously. The guy's passion and intensity um, for winning and playing the game the right way um, is like nothing I've seen before. The biggest thing about Osh when I think back to his, you know, him being my teammate for 11 years is that his dedication to his craft. Uh, not only through like his play in the field, it was obvious, 1,200 and some tackles, you know, second all time, I believe. Um, but his dedication to teammates to make everybody better around him and uh, his commitment to getting better each and every day. Well, he led by example. You know, he wasn't one of the guys that would be, he wasn't a rah-rah type leader. Um, you know, he did all the right things, right? He studied longer than most people. He trained longer than most people. He treated his body better than most people. The level of his focus, his intensity, his desire to win, all the stuff you had seen him do before, um, all the time he had put in, all of those things. In the film room, the weight room, on the field, the things that fans don't see. And uh, you just, as a teammate, you just, you, you looked up to it. It was something you wanted to strive to be because you knew because of the success he had, it was, those were the reasons why he was, he was uh, such a great player. Great teammate, friend, uh, mentor, uh, CFL ambassador. When we talk about his intensity and his focus, right, it is not just in the game, it is who he is. He has this wonderful uh, desire. He has a delight with getting it right. Always focused, uh, you know, intense, he was intense. And he was just, I think that the best attribute that he had is he made the guys around him accountable. And I, I do have a story actually about on special teams and this comes from uh, Jude St. John when he was playing in Hamilton and they're getting ready to play the Argos and then I guess one of the guys on Jude's team at the time, I forget his name, took his hand up, I'm going to get O'Shea, I'm going to block him, I'm going to block him on every special team. And, I, and so everybody's all psyched by the end of the game, I think O'Shea had like six or seven tackles on special teams. I always bring it up and he's going to, if he hears this or he listens to this, it's going to be like, oh, here he goes, Chris talking about this story again. We, we had a play together in BC um, where I kicked out a missed field goal, ran down, I hit the guy, made him fumble. Mike ends up picking the fumble up and we're both running together to, towards the end zone. And I'm on his left side and I'm like, what a great play this would be. And I'm actually thinking this in my head. I'm like, I'm like, Mike, pitch it, right? Because I had done all the work so far, pitch it, let me go score. And uh, he looks at me and he says, go bleep bleep block. So I cut back up inside of him and I ended up blocking a guy and he runs it in for a touchdown. And, and then afterwards he felt really bad. I mean, he came up to me uh, afterwards and he said, I couldn't believe I didn't pitch it to you. In the Grey Cup game when I coached him, two days before the game, this is Thursday night. Uh, if, if a player is going to, to, um, to go out, right, that's the night that they go out. I um, had uh, come back on uh, the team bus and uh, went up to the room and then I came down to the meeting room to get some film. And this is uh, 11 o'clock at night. The entire defense was in the meeting room. Michael O'Shea and Orlando Steinhauer were leading that meeting. And at that point, I knew the Grey Cup was won. He has a better understanding. He's probably one of the best player coaches I've ever been around. He taught me the ropes and, and, and taught me how to prepare for games, how to watch film, and then just, just from watching the guy prepare. And... He made me better as, as an opponent. He made me better as a teammate, and he made me better as a person. One of my favorite people on the planet, without question.